the first time you came in Romania to teach. How do you find the students you have met these days in Bucharest? They're great fun. <laughs> <laughs> and professionally speaking? Professionally speaking, very, very high standards. Very interesting. Um, we've learnt a lot um, over the years. Um, so we're probably looking back at people in the same... We have the experience. They're starting off with the enthusiasm that we had when we were young. And so it's really nice to give the experience to young people. Um, you have been sharing a couple of investigation situations and experiences with the journalists here. What do you believe about the Romanian work ethic, which you've seen applied these days in the investigation in journalism course? I'll give that one to you. I think it's been very good, actually. I've been really impressed that you know people have had to work this week. They've had... Um, assignments for, for their jobs, but they've always come back after they've gone to do their work, so they've obviously been really keen to get as much out of the course as they can, so you know, I've been very impressed. Okay. Considering your vast experience in journalism and in teaching a lot of students, most of them foreigners, can you envisage a global tendency for investigation journalism? I'm referring to strategies, methods, sources. I think there's a standard way of going about this sort of work and, um, and I think a lot of young journalists are very enthusiastic uh, but sometimes you need to sit down and do the dull things like pitching the story, getting the story correct, checking all the facts, getting the accuracy right. Um, so I think the methodology that we bring is, is actually very useful to put the methodology inside the enthusiasm and then it starts to really There are recipes like to follow. Yeah, I think there's definitely formulas that apply um, across the board about how to do this work well. So obviously we're trying to establish best practice and there's actually quite a lot of good practice already in this room you know, among the students. If there would be an international news agency dictionary, what uh, would you write next down to Adger Press name? Actually, after this week, I would just say everybody is incredibly nice. But if you sit down and talk about the news agency itself, um, it's a little bit younger than Reuters. Um, it's only 120. But not very young. <laughs> it's only 125 years Hi. old. <laughs> um, so you're a bit younger than us, um, so maybe we just look and say you're very youthful and very uh, smiling and very cheerful. Thank you. Uh, what would you wish Adger Press on its uh, 125th anniversary? I think what we see at Adger Press is that sort of commitment to, to news agency journalism. News agency journalism is often a kind of unsung hero of, of journalism. It's um, those journalists are working 24 hours a day, those journalists are working um, every day of the week, they go out in the evening. Other people basically sit down there and wait for them to do the work and then they start their work. So I think one of the things is always um, keep up the good work uh, and be dedicated to truth and to accuracy. And you? And you? Yeah, I hope that uh, you know we don't know much about the agency beyond the fact that they have some uh, delightful PR staff. But <laughs> what we've uh, experienced so far has been uh, very nice, and I think um, you know I hope that the agency can grow in strength as a a very strong agency that informs the people of Romania well about what's going on in their country and around the world. Certainly, thank you very much.